Hey everybody, welcome to a Clickstaff unboxing. Thanks to WizKids for the Avengers Fantastic Four Empire Miniatures game. Uh, this game's coming out in a couple months. Um, not soon enough. Not soon <laughs> enough, right? Because I'm I'm looking at it here and uh, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. So I'd like to thank WizKids, of course, for letting us take a look at that. I'm Daniel. This is Jason. Hi. Um, and if you're new to Clickstaff, check out clickstaff.com for everything Clickstaff related. We do podcasts, YouTubes, competitive gameplay, uh, casual gameplay. Um, so we'll just jump into this unboxing. So admittedly, I got this in the mail and we saw some previews of this thing at Gen Con and then Gail Simone had a little bit of a preview already. But admittedly, me personally, I unboxed it out of the shipping box and I looked just, I didn't even look at it because I, I like my raw right. reaction right. of this. So... We know that there, we're going to go over the cards, the figures, the sculpts, uh, but there's maps in here, yeah. um, the yeah. new rule book, new, rule book. new PAC, new PAC. Um, so we're going to break down all of that in this video. Yeah. So let's, let's do it. Let's get it going here. Um, so completely. I have seen some of these sculpts in the case. At Gen Con, right out of the box, I have seen a glimpse of the PAC already. Right, if, if you've seen some of our pictures on our page, you've already seen those. Yeah, Facebook.com forward slash the stuff. And um, so, at the, at the end of the video, I do plan on having some high quality uh, card pictures and the PAC and the rule book all taken care of. So, if you can't quite see a card or something as you're going through the video, um, just Wait till the end, and I'll try to intersperse in maybe towards the end or during the video here as it as I go through editing. Um, this is a board game quality yeah. boxing. So also. just just like the a couple of the other ones that we've gotten this past year, the uh, one uh, the, the yeah, that one and the Avengers um, Masters of Evil one. Yeah. That was the old scale, but yeah. this new scale. Yeah, it wasn't this format box. Yeah, but, yeah. But this format box. Uh, we talked about that earlier this year. Yeah, the artwork this is, looks great here. Artwork looks great. This looks like something that sits on the shelf strong against other board games. Um, but very high quality in that it's hard to open. Like most of my other board <laughs> like, games. Like most of my other, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, really. So this is the, so we got what? That's that's that's, uh, that's Val. Val and Valerie, Franklin, Franklin Wolverine, Wolverine Spider Man, Man. Uh, artwork on the box, uh, Taskmaster, Magneto, uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Thor, Marvel. or Jane? Is that Jane? That's Captain Marvel with yeah, Ronan the Accuser is like. Uh, oh, Captain. okay. Yeah, because she joins up with the uh, with the Kree. Gotcha. In the comic there, uh, and, and to note, Franklin and Val are not in this box set. Right, as a figure. As a figure. I don't know, they might be in here. At a might be a Paul, yeah. Yeah, but as far as we know, they're not a figure figure. Um, and then we've got Super Scroll, X-Men. Mm -hmm. Viper. Viper? Okay, or maybe they call her Miss Hydra. Madam Hydra. Madam Hydra, Madam Hydra here. She's right yeah. there, yeah. And then uh, Sue and Johnny here uh, on the box. And then, uh, let's see, on the back, it's just more of the same. It's got some of their cards and... Um, <clears throat> talking about what all comes in the box. Min 10 miniatures, 20 cards, 32 object and terrain tokens, uh, six map tile, tile, so two maps. We don't know what map's in here yet. No, either. we don't. No. Um, the dice, the PAC, the rule book, the scenario cards, the bystander tokens, and the two scenario object tokens. So let's, let's just do... Let's just get the dice out. We'll get these out. We'll look at the figures here first um, is the fantastic and so the symbol on the dice it, it's Avengers it's Avengers yeah it's the oh it's the Avengers Empire type symbol mm -hmm. and it is on the six as usual yeah well the Fantastic Four oh, they, one, they, that was what I was thinking yeah. that the Fantastic Four one was on the four yeah and I didn't know if we were going to get yeah. something well, most of them are on the six yeah most of them are on the six historically right yeah I was hoping we weren't going to get something wonky like the four is the four but I guess that makes thematic sense. Um, so, everything is bagged for now. These things are usually hard to get bagged back. So, uh, there's the scenario cards. Here's the 
figures, cards. Smoke and barrier tokens that are new. Yeah, those look new. Uh, again, those are like throwbacks, I think. They they have the art, they do the art style of some older. of the, yeah, yeah, like Infinity Challenge type stuff. Um, so this has the A and B nomenclature of um, the past box set that we did. So let's just go ahead and go. Let's just review the figures A and B together. Well, the so all of the A's should have a theme, and then all of the B's should have a theme. So there's okay. A. So we're gonna be a spy theme. Well, as far as their dial and functions too, there should be a. Why well, was just looking at keywords? Um, right. I don't remember Magneto being a spy, but. Uh... Uh, maybe he was in the comments. Yeah, maybe? I just missed that somewhere. That's All cool. right. So, yeah. Okay. So you've got two teams of five, right? So I guess the the 107 through the 110 is sort of your bad guy theme, and then your 101 through your 106 is your quote unquote uh, good guys. Um, so is the A or the B side? The basic one. The A side is going to be your basic. The A one. side is the basic. So let's just start out with Spider Man here. Um, so a little crouching pose there. Um, crouching pose. Um, charge, incapacitate, super senses, 25 points, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Spider Man, Family Reporter, Scientist. Um, and then, yeah, four, four range, double bolt, uh, charge, super senses, 25 points, um, Spider-Man TA. That's a nice little wild card, really. Yeah. And then I guess, so the A villain for him is probably Taskmaster, right? Probably. Yeah, I mean, because Wolverine lines up with Magneto. This is 35 points. Yeah, what does he do? Uh, so Taskmaster uh, is 35 points. He has the team uh, player team ability. Uh, he starts out with six range triple target, uh, eight move sidestep, 11 attack, 17 defense, uh, energy shield deflection, three damage. Uh, same on his first two clicks, and his last three are charge, blades, uh, then the bear 17 defense, two damage, uh, eight movement, 10 attack, and then on his last click, it's eight movement, nine attack, all yeah. 17 defense. I like that just from a, I like yeah. just, these are basic, great dials. It's a good yeah. board game dial, right? And then mm -hmm. at the larger game, right, these are great uh, filler points. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'd like to play Spider-Man a lot. Yeah, yeah I mean, 25 that's, points. that's good. I mean, he's got a Fantastic Four, right? So he works with a Fantastic Four swap out. Um, and then, so 102A Wolverine, the basic dial Wolverine. Uh, double bolts. I like the double bolts close combat. That new rule yeah. change with the double bolts close combat really is really um, the triple hit. Yeah, I mean, it just it, it's really um, it, it, it gives you a lot of options. Gives you a lot of options. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's it's, it's a lot of options. Like you're not just going to have somebody roll out if you got a single guy to attack with super senses. You got right. two guys. You can hedge your bets. Yes, exactly. So this is um thirty thirty five point Wolverine. Uh, no movement attack, um, double bolts, but uh, blank movement slot, blades, toughness, and then regen for five clicks uh, with the X-Men team ability. Let's see, we've got Magneto. Oh, sorry, he's got Avengers, Fantastic Four, Weapon X, X-Men, and Soldier. So again, X-Men swap out, we've seen Fantastic Four swap out, we've seen, yeah. you know, these two definitely add to that uh, math. For all of those, so I like that. Yeah, Magneto's got uh, Acolytes, Brotherhood of Mutants, Ruler, and Spy keywords. Brotherhood TA. He's 40 points. Uh, his movement starts out blank for the first two clicks and then goes to, uh, to sidestep on the last three. He has a full dial of telekinesis. First two uh, clicks of defense or initial deflection. Uh, he's a 11 17 3 starting out at 40 points with six range and he flies. Yeah, that's good. How many points is it? 40 points. 40 points? That's good. Five clicks deep. Yeah. Uh, then we've got our 50 point uh, Captain Marvel, Avengers Creed, Cosmic, uh, Avengers Team Ability. Um, 
50 points for five clicks, running shot, invuln, 11-3, six range, single bolt, and then she goes down into charge toughness, 11-3 uh, starting out, then you go 10-3s throughout the dial. Uh, Madam Hydra, we've got a Hydra Assassin and Spy keyword. She's 35 points, has the Hydra TA. She's four clicks deep. Uh, her first two movement uh, clicks are blank and goes to sidestep for the last two. Uh, she starts out 11, uh, attack poison on her first two clicks, and then she is no powers on her last two clicks. Her defense is 17 super senses for the first two, and then 17 and 16 with no defensive power on the last. Starts out with three damage, and then ends with two clicks of two damage exploit. Oh, yeah. Exploit's always good. Yeah, sidestep exploit. Uh, I don't think that's a bad combo to have. Hydra TA is always going to be handy. Right. That was exceptionally loud to get out of the box. Uh, we got what we got. You just said Madam Hydra. Hydra. Uh -huh. Magneto. Magneto. She's just sitting there with her whip. And then Magneto's got like a... Magneto always gets really good sculpts. Yeah. He's like off the... Coming up off of a rock. You know, ascending upwards. Yeah, good, good looking sculpts. And then... Um, Rogue is next. I have two. Uh, we'll do the two Fantastic Four. Okay. The old, or, or the OGs. Uh, Rogue on her A dial. Charge, still energy, toughness. Uh, five clicks for 40 points. Starts out with charge. Uh, sorry, still energy. Um, goes down to toughness. 10-3. 10, 10-10, 10, 17-3. Um, again, these are pretty basic dials. No range. Uh, one bolt. X-Men team ability. Um, and, a, and a kind of a standard rogue sculpt that we've seen, but just really, the, I love the new sculpt size. Um, this has been really nice. Yeah, the new sculpts are looking really good. I think they really hit their stride. Uh, we've got uh, Super Scroll X Men, the second one of these guys we've ever gotten in the game. Uh, he's got the scroll team ability, he has scrolls, warrior, and spy keywords. He's 40 points, five clicks long. He has no movement powers except phasing on his last click. Starts off with Psychic Blast for 11 attack and then goes to Blades. And then nothing on his last click. And he has a Toughness for four clicks, starting out with 17. Went up to an 18, down to a 17. Regen on his last click and three damage across the board. Wow. That's how many points again? He's 40. 40. That's pretty beefy. Six range, one target. And this sculpt's pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Cyclops eye beams, the Wolverine claws. He's got Colossus arms. Mm -hmm. Who's who's the helmet? Is that like a... No, that looks like Colossus's head. Uh, I guess that's Colossus's head too. Yeah, like the, just the, the exposed... Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a uh, super scroll. Stand. Yeah, it's definitely a super scroll head. Yeah. According to the powers, he has uh, powers of Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, and Rogue. Uh, no mention of uh, of, Colossus. of Colossus anyway. Yeah. Um, but the sculpt definitely is. The sculpt definitely Colossus. has, it. and then he has Nightcrawler's tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so the two. Taskmaster we've already done. Taskmaster is an amazing done. sculpt. Yeah, amazing sculpt. Throwing the shield, got the sword. Very dynamic pose. I did forget to pull him out. All right, then the two OG Fantastic Four members. Very high quality. It's in there very secure. Very securely. Um, so, uh, Invisible Woman. A-side, uh, again, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Celebrity, um, and Fantastic Four team ability, no move and attack, 10, 18, 2, so she's got defend and toughness, or defend and enhancement up top, uh, goes to a 19, defend on her second click, uh, then stealth and barrier on the last two, four clicks for 40. Uh, and then the Human Torch. And Johnny's going to have uh, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, Family, and Celebrity keywords. Uh, Fantastic Four team ability. He is five clicks deep. He has two powers. The full dial of, of energy explosion and energy shield deflection. Nice. Uh, for 40 points, uh, six range, double target, and flight. He's 9-11-17-3 starting out. Nice, nice. Um, then Wolverine. All right, let's just go through the B-sides here. Uh, this is the B side's a little bit more for the little more advanced, right? 
right? So 40 points for five clicks on Spider-Man, charge, in-cap, super senses, um, but incapacitate special power when Spider-Man uses it after resolutions deal one damage to each hit character that was given an action token. I like it. So that's the little extra special power you get with that one. Uh, Taskmaster, uh, looks like we have the same keywords again. Uh, he's got, he has 45 points, he's five clicks. Uh, he has a special power on his attack power for the first two clicks. Photographic reflexes with lots of weapons. Uh, Blades Claws Fangs, Energy Explosion, Incapacitate. Uh, Taskmaster modifies attack plus three when attacking one or more characters that can use a special power. Say plus three? Plus three. What's this? What's he the is an 11 on, so those, he, on those clicks. So he, he does come, 14. Comes out of 14 very often. Uh, sidestep and three damage initial deflection on those two clicks. And then he goes to charge blades, combat reflexes. No, he has three. Yeah. That's a six kinda, range triple target. Wow. Yeah. That plus three attack is pretty crazy. He's going to be a great energy exploding piece. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, Wolverine, again, they all have the same keywords, it looks like. Yeah. Um, Wolverine adds charge, flurry, blades, and toughness. Um, so charge then goes into blades. Uh, 45 points for five clicks. And then he has stop and regen at the end of his dial. Um, so Wolverine pretty strong. still keeps the double bolts, though. So that's pretty cool. Magneto is going to be 50 points this time. And he's going to gain running shot. Uh, and he has a... Uh, Defensive power in the first two clicks, so it gives him energy shield deflection and invulnerability. Uh, still a whole full dial of telekinesis. And then goes to sidestep and energy shield deflection. Yeah. Uh, Captain Marvel, um, five clicks for 60 points. Running shot, side blast, 10, 11, 17, 3. And then goes into charge, 10, 17, 3, close combat expert. Um, you know, the, the charge dials definitely is its cosmic powered hammer. So she's got the mm -hmm. close combat expert uh, showing that she's got Ronin's hammer. Uh, and then a special defense ability, energy shield deflection, and a vulnerability. So that 19 from range at the top is pretty cool. Madam Hydra is going to be 45 points, and she's going to gain a special attack power called Kiss of Death. That's poison. And when Madam Hydra uses it, she, if she KO'd an opposing character, after resolutions, remove all action tokens from her. Uh, she gets it for the first three clicks along with stealth and super senses. Nice. Uh, Rogue, special, her special power is outwit, um, but only to target a character Rogue hit with a close attack this turn. So that's a nice little follow-up. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 17, 3, and then she has charge with invulnerability. Then she goes down into flurry. Still energy toughness um, with the X-Men team ability. Uh, five clicks for 50 points. All right, Super Scroll X-Men makes a little more sense here with his uh, flavor text here. He has Colossus' skin, Rogue's toughness, Wolverine's healing, which is invulnerability, toughness, regen. Uh, but he's going to be 60 points this time. He has a full movement uh, slot of a special power. It gives him charge and running shot. Nice. From Beast and Cyclops. And a full dial of attack power of Wolverine and Marvel Girl, which gives him Blades, Claws, Fangs, and Penetrating Psychic Blast. So why does Marvel Girl always end up with TK if it's supposed to be well, Psychic Blast? I don't know. This is giving her Psychic Blast. I mean, she could technically have Psychic Blast. Uh, she needs Psychic Blast more often. She I probably think. does. Right. But maybe the fact that it's combined with Wolverine's yeah. piercing... We've uh, never really got a Marvel Girl that was an attack. Hacker, right. Support piece. Yeah. Well, we can because when Super Scroll oh. takes her abilities, maybe she just doesn't unlock that. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe. it's just a little more inventive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the <laughs> Invisible Woman. <coughs> We've got uh, um, five clicks for 50. Uh, 19 Defend up top. Uh, barrier Defend is a special ability. Friendly characters adjacent to one of Invisible Woman's barrier markers may replace their defense value with Invisible Woman's printed defensive value also defend through Pro protected the team right that the, yeah. showing her like bubble uh yeah. bubble ability there so that's pretty great uh johnny's gonna be 50 points this time he's gonna gain running shot up top two clicks and then two clicks of special attack power nova blast energy explosion and when human torch uses it hit characters are dealt three instead of two oh, damage nice. yeah 11 attack three damage 17 and energy deflection starting off 
And that's with souped up energy. Yeah. So yeah. any souped up energy explosion always has some playability. Uh, yeah, free damage to everyone. In a more competitive setting. That's good. Yeah. I mean, that helps you get around things like impervious and um, invincible. Yeah, invincible. Um, Invulnerability. Yeah, yeah, even. Um, so let's see. So we got the scenario cards. So it looks like, okay, so you play through the game. You know, we won't do a gameplay in this particular video, but one player plays the hero, one player plays the villain. Um, and then if you win, if you lose, um, it gives you different win conditions, lose conditions, and you go through all of the scenarios. So you've got, they're out of order here. So this must be the last scenario. For need, proceed to scenario G, there's E, there's B. One of these two, I think you probably start with. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so G, H, am I missing it? Is it on the other side? This is scenario G. Oh, I need to look at the front side. The front's where you're, yeah. yeah. Scenario H. This is F. Okay, there's A. Okay, there's scenario A. There's scenario B. There's scenario C. There's scenario D. There's E, F, G, H. Yeah, so you've got eight scenarios to run through. Um, and they've got different things. If the hero plays which, which characters, which pogs, and then... Um, how you go through the game to play it so very very thematic reading some of these um so won't do a game play on those but it's a very good scenario to play through very quick playthrough and something different to play than just a regular uh hero clicks game as well so all right uh we see we got the the tokens the special markers the barrier those are um, those are all useful and different. Uh, yeah, useful and I like these a lot. These are these are slick. Yeah, um, they're nice quality tokens. Yeah, let me try to get these down here without losing them um, all. We've got pogs that uh, I'm sure come up through the scenarios. Yeah, so these we've seen these before. These they are don't uh, have you, numbers. Yeah, you can't play these in a regular HeroClix game just with the scenario game. So you've got. Scroll with the sidestep, shape change, in cap, a mystique with flurry, combat reflexes, shape change. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Kotati. Kotati. Kotati, yeah. Something like that. That's Kutati. how I say it. I may be wrong. Kotati, plant soldier uh, with quake, super senses, and power. Uh, Hydra. Are yours the same as mine? Yeah, I believe they're all the same. Hydra minion with the uh, okay, sidestep, so poison, energy shield. You flip them over, yeah. right, and you get a different. Oh, no. I think they're all, that's all we got. There's the Hydra. The There's just a lot Katai, of Hydra the minions. The Scroll and the Mystique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've also got action token tokens and some objects that are very small. Yeah, well, that, that was the same thing in the new one. Was it? In the okay. other one, yeah. Yeah, laptop, wrench, jackhammer, toaster, record player. Then a couple of big objects. Pan, and then a giant gun and a skate, that looks like. Um, yeah, that's a giant roller skate. Maybe a giant man roller skate. Giant man roller skate. It looks rather large, so I don't yeah. know. A couple of heavies. Um, oh, man. It's heavies on the other side, aren't they? No, these are the special objects. Oh, these are for the... Yeah, so for the thing, fantastic technology, light object, indestructible, grant sidestep. Oh man! I really wish that was just. <laughs> we could just play that. Normally. I wish we could play that outside of the scenario. Yeah. Um, and then this one is a freeze beam. When this character with the hits with attack roll of ten through twelve, give all hit characters an action token. Um, but man, gosh, I really wish you could just. That'd be one of, one of the best objects in the game. <laughs> I, yeah, an equipable and equipable so side step. Alas, <laughs> it's just for the Empire scenario play. All right. Um, so. There was a few of those in the Wonder, Wo uh, the Wonder Woman set, too, that was really cool. But. All right. Here we go. For our more competitive, rule-picky folks, or not picky, but just more rural in-depth folks. So, the PAC. So, Jason, I haven't looked at this. We got a little glimpse of it at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to take a minute and kind of look it over. The big thing was 
uh, running shot and charge, you can mm-hmm. do basic uh, close attacks um, multiple times. times. Right. So there was characters that could make multiple attacks mm-hmm. that had to switch their attack type, like a, a basic close okay. attack, and then, and then destroy. do a, a, a destroy or an object, object attack. attack. But now those characters that can make multiple attacks can just do two close attacks, right? Same thing with, and then a similar change to running shot. So you can just run up and just punch twice or shoot twice. Right, and then you can still, or you still can do your all caps range Mm -hmm. or close as Mm -hmm. one of them. So you can still do an object attack or a close destroy um, or the um, close destroy object, close destroy wall. so leap climb looks the same, phasing looks the same, um, plasticity, force blast, sidestep. Have you seen anything different on the movement Not side? So far. Um, yeah, energy explosion looks the same. That might be the only change so far. Um, Oh, did did Quake is Quake different? Let's see. When this character makes a close attack, they may target no. all adjacent opposing characters. If they do, they gain not back for this attack. No, it's yeah, character right. two damage instead of normal. That's the same. I think pulse wave is the same also. Right? Um. Well, did it have the one plus in there? Before? It had one plus. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have the it's one plus, plus anymore. Now. So range half range. Uh, ignores characters, shoot out of adjacency improvement on the targeting. Other characters within range can't use powers or abilities for this action. Make a ranged attack targeting all other characters within range of fire, including at least one opposing character, using printed defensive values for each character. Each hit character is dealt one damage instead so of normal. that's different, but it's still the same effect. Um... Is dealt one damage instead of normal. Yeah, damage. so that's probably how it should have been read mm-hmm. originally. Read, yeah. read, read originally. Mm-hmm. Um, end cap is the same. Side blast is penetrating. Psychic blast is the same. Uh, smoke cloud. Um, precision strike. Poison. Um, <laughs> Still energy is the same. TK, CK looks the same. Um, All the defensive powers look the same. Um, Or shares a keyword, mastermind looks the same. Yep, willpower is the same. Invincible is the same. Impervious, regen, and vulnerability. Um, Did range combat experts say you've used range destroy before? Yeah, it yeah, okay. it does. Yeah, so it allows you to destroy walls, which is a change uh, from previous rules. Yeah, it was. Right? It was a change. Yeah. right. Yeah. So that one helped. Uh, Battle Fury is the same. So, yeah, I think everything else is looking the same. So basically, a charge and running shot got fixed, and the wording of pulse wave pulse, got fixed. Pulse wave got fixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Outwit's the same. Um, mm-hmm. Range attacks, all the, all the little flavor text on the pack looks the same. Um, the improvement and keyword stuff. I mean, we and so be fair. We could totally be missing. Yeah, something. we're just skimming uh, this. We're so skimming we're, this as quickly yeah. as we can here without making a super long video. We'll we'll probably have some more on our podcast and some anything if we find anything else up here. So, um, move, close, carry. Uh, let's see the improved targetings that are that one. Any different? No, those are all the same. First turn immunity, rule of three. Um, I do like the the thing that they do here. For example, if a character would get attack plus five, they instead get pla- attack plus three. Mm-hmm. That might be in the current pack, but I've just now noticed that. So yeah, it's it's always it's good. Nice to know, it's always good to notice that know that you can go above 
but when you calculate the value, it's only a maximum of three. Plus three. Plus three, minus three, yeah. Um, the occupancy, I like the golden rules over here. Yeah. Uh, golden rules, silver rules. Um, I have to look at an older pack whenever we get... If we had the one room in here to lay it yeah. out, it would be nice. Yeah, uh, but we'll probably do that eventually. Um, autonomous is characters. Non-free actions don't count for your action total. Um, giant Reach looks the same. Um, do, 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 immune, Max X, Passenger, Protected Outwit. Um, yeah, those all look about the same. Maybe some wording fixes or something that we're just mm -hmm. not right. We're not coming up with here, but because yeah, I haven't looked at it in a while, right? Or at least I didn't look at the old one today. I should say no. I looked at it earlier this week, but um, those all look. It all looks about the same. Yeah. There might be some wording fixes, but there's nothing mm -hmm. I would say immaterial. No, charge huge. Long charge is a big takeaway. Yeah, so. I think so. I think so. We could be wrong. Y'all, y'all tell us. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure, sure we're gonna know. I'm sure we'll know later. Uh, core rule book, real quick. Um, we got the condensed pack on the back, um, and then the, yeah, well, there's, uh, I'll be honest, I, I don't have the whole complete rule book memorized, that's why I carry one with me to look at, oh, uh, a good idea. but, um, uh, generate and placing, I mean, there's, there's different sections that people will probably want to compare line by line, um, but, um, these all look very similar to what we've seen before. Um, so, yeah, it looks all very similar to before. So, um, um, I'm going to say, just looking at this square, I don't recognize it right off the top of my head. Oh, so this might be something new? I don't know. We'll see. I. <laughs> If it is a reprint, I do like that we have to use these in uh, competition. Um, we have to use the new ones and not the right. old ones. That's a, a little persnickety rule, I guess, with, with uh, competitive play. Well, it does have a new marking on like Kendrick's ring. It's green, green, white, dash. It is yeah. technically different. Yeah. Um, so this I, is the older style artwork, I believe, really, too, that we had. I, I do love in these. the early years. I just absolutely yeah. love these. It's cardboard, though. It's like, it's like yeah. a nice in between neoprene and paper. Um, so I don't know where that's at. Uh, I, hmm. I don't know that. Mm. A Baxter, oh, Baxter Building Sentinel okay. HQ. Okay. So that that's that feels like a reprint, right? I'm just looking at it and don't recognize it. I don't know, let's uh, let's do this. Let's put this. I've seen a lot of Heroclix maps in my time. Let's put this in the uh, top of that box there and put these together then real quick. Like I said, I'll get some pictures of these um, in the YouTube video, um, so don't don't be upset that you can't you see them um, at this moment. So, uh, so that's, that's an ad. One up there. That's an out. That's an yep. Um, that feels right. Yeah, this is. Uh... P1 through 16, so you had 17 starting here. Well, is, is this going to end? No, that's A. It goes on this, it goes on that side. Okay, so there's that mm -hmm. and that. Ooh. So this doesn't look familiar? Yeah. I, I don't know. It doesn't look familiar to me. Um, it wasn't in like the Fantastic Four starter or something I mean, from the old be, one? It could be, I don't I don't know. It, the, that one, that old, like, Secret Invasion time frame, Fantastic Four starter had large maps. Like, four players. Like the four, maps. the huge, huge ones, right. right. Uh, it's just certainly before my time, but let's see what we've got. It's indoor. Um, it's a nice large, blocking. Large room in the center. I like, they got blocking on the outside. It's not technically symmetrical. Because no. you do have the rooms over, over there. there. You don't have here. You do have the blocking over here. Hindering here that you don't have on that side. Well, I guess it is it's not symmetrical this way. It is fairly symmetrical this way. 
Mm -hmm. um, but not from one side to the other. Yeah. yeah, so there is some definite tactical advantages. Large blocking here in the center. Mm -hmm. And then hindering in the room with the little computer. You do have four openings, but you can't just shoot through it because of the blocking in the center. That's right. Yeah, yeah. This is this is solid. I like this. this is, yeah, I do. I don't know if this is a reprint. I I, I would like to. I, been, I, I would have liked to have played on the original one. I don't recognize it offhand. So very cool. I like this. This is a very tactical map. Um, I, I left and right variance is almost just as good as forward and back um, variance um, mm -hmm. because you can still decide which way do you go. You typically go towards the center anyway. Right. In most hero clicks games, so. got good TK lines here. Yeah, and then decent ones over here. I do like that this side of the map. You do have some good barrier. Being able to mm -hmm. clog up this hallway with only one piece of barrier through here is really this nice. This is gonna be a good barrier map. This is gonna be a good barrier map. We guess we can we can turn up the tile maybe. We'll yeah, towards you the can tile. see that. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, we'll, we will have some good pictures of this in the video uh, when it's up. So uh, there's one more map. Let's. Yeah. Um, I guess this is going to be the A. This is going to flip flop here. Yeah, this one should go like this. It's New York Outdoor. We've had New York maps before, I know. But. I like the. Did we get that? Just like that? Yep. yep. Look, at the, look at us go today. Yeah. Uh, I do like the, the, the coloring on this is very easy to read. Mm -hmm. This is. Very succinct. The larger markings are much easier to tell. Yes. I, 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 I'm kind of speechless at this because this is an outdoor map. You've got buildings on each side. Um, again, it's we've had this one before. This I, looks familiar. This looks familiar. Yeah. I have played. This has been recent enough that I've played on it. So Age within of the past, Ultron. that feels yes, yeah. I think maybe Age of Ultron ish. Mm -hmm. um, was when this one came out. Because uh, I remember this blocking in the center. So we got blocking here in the center, some mm -hmm. hindering dispersed throughout. We've got starting terrains on multiple elevations. Yeah, that's always a good tactical. Even if the map isn't symmetrical one way or the other, like forward and back here, I'll call it, it's always good to have elevation in the starting area where you can change up and down what you've got going on. Um, so that you're not immediately locked in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely a good tactical advantage on this map uh, for both players, I think. Um, but man, just that, I, I don't know how well I will show up on camera on the video, but hopefully it will on the picture. Uh, that one, two mm -hmm. is very easy to read. Yes. Like, it's just a font change. Yeah, and yeah. also the black versus white where it was the same color before for the numbers. Right, yeah. this is way easier to see mm -hmm. um, maybe as we're getting older. Um, yeah, no, this is definitely the, the, the green white hash marks versus just a thin green line. Right. So much easier to and distinct. This tell. blocking, this blocking being com uh, black and uh, brown, very, very, yes. e very easier to see. It is glossy, so I don't know how it'll show up on camera as far as the yeah. gloss goes, but um, that, that one, two, um, should help out. I want to see like a, mm -hmm. uh, a reprint of like Wondagore Mountain or something uh, oh, where yeah. it had like six levels to see what that's um, like. Yeah. So um, maybe, I, yeah. No. But, uh, this is great. I can't yeah. say enough good things about how this is good for gameplay. I really I like these maps. Yeah. I hope this translates over into their uh, upcoming printed maps for the set, the main set associated with this. Maybe they should come out with a carrying case for these map yeah, yeah a carry, idea a yeah. carrying case for these map a carrying case for maps a whiz kid <laughs> a whiz kids branded uh yeah accessories in general would be really cool to have um so i think that's it did we miss anything i don't think we looked at every part of it, i believe every part of it i believe so characters are really solid i do like the maps i like how the characters are playable mm -hmm. outside of the scenario set uh, we yeah. know some tactical advantages for each one of those. I think, yeah. Um, Spider Man, I think, is the standout for me. Yeah, I mean, I like the I like the X Men, just the Super Scroll X Men, just because he's he's cool. I I don't know. I like that cool sculpt, right? I'm a right. I love the sculpts. I love that. And, you yeah. know, he's got a bunch. He's got a bunch of cool stuff, right? Right. right. I'm a Spider Man sucker, of course. You know, everybody knows this, <laughs> right? 
Uh, but a 25 point wild card with uh, is always charge bad. 11 3. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Super senses. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Good keywords. Um, yeah, I mean, this, the artwork on these things are really nice. Um, the quality of the box is really nice. Uh, and that's just, I, don't know, I yeah. think that's just a very objective thing to, to say. Um, but the coloring on these maps, I think, is, is mm -hmm. I hope this in, is indicative of future maps. Um, yeah. Because this, this speeds up competitive gameplay. It speeds up decision making mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you're able to see it better and it, it looks really nice, so. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have a hard time telling any of the terrain markings at all. Right, so, anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for WizKids for sending this to us. Check out the uh, Empire unboxing. Uh, you can pre-order it from the WizKids store or your friendly local game store. So, thanks everybody for watching. You'll have a great rest of y'all's day. Thank you, later.